Is your camera on? It is. I'm the police chief in Tampa. Oh, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll say, uh, not to say I, I, you look familiar, so. Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Tampa Police Chief Mary O'Connor getting fired after only about one year on the job because she used her name and her badge in a very inappropriate fashion while she was being pulled over. Now, if she didn't say anything during this particular uh, traffic stop, if you will, she probably would have got a warning anyway. And as a matter of fact, she wasn't even the one driving. It was her husband driving. So I'm not really sure why he was driving a golf cart. We'll get to an article in a little bit, and we'll talk about that. But he's driving the golf cart. It didn't have a tag on it. They're out in the street, I suppose, and they get pulled as a result. Now, the husband could have explained, well, I didn't really know what I was doing. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Could have got a warning. And if there was a ticket, it probably wouldn't have been that big of a ticket. I mean, you probably won't go to jail. I don't think it was a DUI suspicion. But now, as a result of what she did, she is being fired from her job. Now, before I get into the article and whatnot, let's watch the full body cam footage. And if you want to see this footage without my commentary, the link, as always, will be in the description. But we're going to watch this. Then we're going to get into the article to get a little bit more information and context. He's like Service Road, Woodlands Park West, going to be a golf cart, no tag. So I'm not really sure where this is. It's also it's like kind of a bank or something that they're in front of. Um, I, I I don't really know why they'd be out there in a in a golf cart at this time of night. This is like uh seven thirty at night from the body cam footage right here. So I don't really understand what's going on. Good evening. How you talking? Good. I'm Deputy Chicago Sheriff's Office. Stopped you because you driving tag or. Uh unregistered vehicle with no tag on it on the roadway yeah we were we went to the club it was closed so we went over and picked up some is your camera on it is i'm the police chief in tampa oh uh, you saw her look from the beginning she had to look right there she had to look like okay this isn't is my debate is, i might just say i'm the police chief and then it's going to be over with i'm gonna flash my badge i'm the police chief it's over with but like i said it wasn't even really called for because if there was a ticket, it probably wouldn't it probably wouldn't have been that big of a ticket. But maybe she was concerned about the embarrassment because if that goes out to the media. Maybe her husband had been drinking or something like that. Then it could have been a serious situation, I suppose. But I don't think that's what's going on. I think she was just trying to get out of the ticket in a very cheap way. Oh, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. Uh, See, look, there, say I, there, there goes a the badge right there. I, I, you look familiar, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I do. <laughs> okay. So, all right, folks. Well, uh, have a good night. Staying over here in East Lake Woodlands? Yeah, we, we live in East Lake Woodlands. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> so, I'm Deputy Jacoby. Okay. Same here, my friend. All right. Take so, care of yourself. All right, Sorry take care. to bother you. All right, no worries. No worries. Like say, we have a lot of problem with the uh, the golf carting around here. You know, everybody. No, we out. don't normally come out. We but never the club come was out. Closed, we never. So we gotcha. Never. To the Greek place to get some food. And... Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Then we'll take care. And uh, it was nice meeting you. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. If you ever need anything, call me. Okay. Wow. So now you got a little get out of jail free card. It was like, hey, man. Thank you for this, and if uh, you get into you get into any kind of trouble, any kind of problems, you call me, and I, you know I got your back because you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Wow, that's funny. I ain't, I didn't anticipate that part at the end of the whole business card exchange from the police chief to the deputy. Very interesting. Serious. All right. Thank Appreciate you. that. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. So. Thank you for your service. Thank you for yours. Thank you. So, take care. All right. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night, folks. Wow, so so there you have it. There you have it. Now, some are going to say, well, hey, man, it's kind of a nothing burger because it's just a golf cart. It wasn't really doing anything, but see, it's not even about that. See, now you're seeing some corruption because, okay, you, you're in the golf cart. Just take the ticket or whatever it is or just let him talk so what he's got to say. 
Okay, you guys just talk about what's going on honestly. If he asks you if you're the police chief, if he recognizes you, then you can say, yeah, that's what I am. But when you lead with that, then it's like you're trying to use that to get out of a situation. Okay, you'll probably do that same thing at a different time with the more serious situation that goes on. Like if he had been drinking behind the wheel of that golf cart, oh, he's drunk. Hey, but don't worry about that because I'm the police chief. Matter of fact, here's a card. If you let me go, I'll give you a card and you give me a call. I recognize your name and your face and where you came from, and I'll give you a favor. So now you get, you're you in some quid pro quo type um, corruption going on. So I understand why they fired her. Now let's look into the article to get a little bit more context. And again, everything I'm talking about right now, everything I'm showing you will be in the description box below the video. But you see the headline, Tampa Police Chief Mario O'Connor resigns. Well, fired, resigned, same thing, because at a certain point, it's like, okay, we'll give you a choice. We can fire you publicly, or you can resign. You can get resigned. So she has resigned after flashing the badge and asking to be let go from a traffic stop. So let's go here. A Florida police chief who flashed her badge and asked to be let go from a traffic stop has resigned. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor has requested and received resignation. See what I'm saying? She requested the resignation. So it wasn't like, okay, I'm just going to quit now because I'm so overcome with this moral obligation to quit because I did the wrong thing. I made a mistake. I slipped up. I fell short. No, I'm requesting that you resign. If you don't resign, I'm going to fire you. All right. But anyway, I digress. So she requested and received the resignation of police chief Mary O'Connor following the completion of an internal affairs investigation into a recent traffic stop involving O'Connor. According to the statement from the mayor's office, assistant police chief Lee Burkall will serve as interim police chief. The mayor said O'Connor was put on administrative leave after body camera footage taken from a traffic stop last month revealed. She told a sheriff's deputy she was hoping that you let us go tonight and showed her a badge. CNN is reported. Now, a question would be, was it reported by the deputy or did they just automatically review the footage? You know, especially like if he, if he called in and radio, they, they probably got to review that. They probably got to know the outcome of that. So that that's a good question. I'm not really sure what the answer is. If you guys know more about that, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, so kind of was a passenger in the golf cart that was pulled over for driving on the road without a license plate tag, according to the footage of the November 12 incident from the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. As the deputy explained why the couple was stopped, O'Connor asked if the deputy body camera was operating and then identified herself as the Tampa police chief. She then asked him to let her go and show him her badge. Now, my question is, why would you ask if the body camera is on? I think he did say it was on. So why would you, after that, say, well, I'm the police chief? It just seems kind of strange. It seems kind of strange. Maybe she thought that if the, um, the, the police saw her on the body camera, that they would have wanted him to let her go. I, I'm not really sure what the purpose of her asking about the body cam was. She came from somewhere else, if I'm not mistaken, because she had been there for only about a year. So maybe she had been a police chief in another place, another part of the country, where they would want the deputy to do something like that, to let her go, since she's a police chief. I, I don't really know. Again, y'all let me know, because different states operate differently. Different cities in a state operate differently. But anyway, let's continue here. She flashed her badge and then et cetera. O'Connor apologized to the deputy and then gave him her business card. If ever need anything, you call me. Seriously. O'Connor and deputy thanked each other for their service, et cetera. The mayor admonished O'Connor's actions in a statement released Monday. Quote, the Temple Police Department has a code of conduct that includes high standards for ethical and professional behavior that apply to every member of our police force. As chief of police, you are not only to abide by and enforce those standards, but to also lead by example. That clearly did not happen in this case. Well, there it is. So that's what that is. There's more here, but that's pretty much what it is. Okay, so let's let's see this part right here. O'Connor was sworn in as Tampa's police chief in March. CNN affiliate Bay News now reported at the time, noting she had served the department for 22 years. Okay, so she had been here for a long time. So I'm thinking, because so, sometimes with police chiefs, they search the entire nation for a police chief, and you might come from a different place as, like, I've seen it happen in, in Virginia. We had a Norfolk police chief. He came from somewhere, like, a whole different part of the country, Louisiana or somewhere. But she had been in Tampa for 22 years. So maybe this is kind of like part of their culture. Maybe they're trying to, you know, cut that culture out. Hey, who knows? So 
So 22 years, rising to the rank of assistant chief before retiring in 2016. Over that time, O'Connor worked with a police chaplain to implement a post-trauma training and retreat program to help officers cope with symptoms of stress associated with the first responder careers, Bay 9 News reported. She also helped launch the Resources in the Community Hope House Program as a safe haven and a high-crime neighborhood. She has also served as, as an instructor for the FBI's Law Enforcement Executive Development Association, according to her LinkedIn. Yeah, I mean, so she seems pretty accomplished, like a, a pretty good cop, but at, I, I don't understand why she would do something like this. Maybe she just thought that it wouldn't really be a big deal. I think that if she just would have not said anything, it wouldn't be a problem. The guy may have recognized her or may have asked for identification and then it said, okay, O'Connor, is that you? Police chief, don't, don't I know you? And then there probably would have been a rap after that. She could have come out shit and just not said anything and it would have been all right. So, I mean, it is what it is. So she has been resigned. I said she got fired initially, but that's not accurate. But my re resigned, fired, same thing. But as I close, I want to say this. Um, this shows that there are still some people that want to have the police be totally squeaky clean. And I think the whole thing with saying I'm the police chief wasn't really that bad. But if you really want to have a squeaky clean force, you don't want any kind of quid pro quo. What they did as far as asking for a resignation was probably correct. That probably was the right thing to do. Um, and I wonder if this kind of interaction happens in more serious situations. Like I said, traffic stop in the golf cart, not really a big deal. Probably would have been the morning or a small ticket at best. Nothing, a nothing burger, really. But what about something more serious? Would that same interaction have happened? I think maybe it would have. But it's so unfortunate. You're talking about 22 years pretty much down the drain. Hey, it is what it is. Maybe she'd be able to redeem herself and go somewhere else. But when you kind of go viral, like this is kind of hard to accomplish that. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what said you? How do you feel about what happened here? Was it a nothing burger? Was it a more serious thing? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys should pretty much know where I'm at. I think it's not really that big of a deal, but at the same time, it can be, especially if that kind of behavior kind of goes unchecked. You start with something small like this and then kind of graduate into other things. And then it's a matter of what was not captured on body camera. Is that kind of how you behave with certain things? You kind of want to get get a pass. You want to slide and say, oh, I'm the police chief. Just let me go. That's kind of what I'm wondering. From her track record, she appears to be a very accomplished cop, somebody that really contributed in a serious way to the community. But then again, maybe there's more to the story. Maybe there's more than meets the eye. Maybe there's more that the mayor and people behind the scenes know about her that has not been revealed. And this incident here might have been a proverbial straw on the camel's back. Who knows? But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.